What's up guys, it's Kelly of 3 Brand Technology. For this video, I'm going to be going over the 5 best Delta 3 printers that you can buy on the market in 2020. And some of the other, I guess, honorable mentions. So a Delta 3 printer is different than a Cartesian, I think that's how you pronounce it, 3 printer. Those are more of the box shaped looking ones, like the Prusa MK3 and some of the Ender 3 printers and pretty much a rectangle shaped with the X, Y, and Z axis moving box right shape but and the Delta 3 prints are more cylinder shaped with the Z axis on rods the X, Y, and Z axis sort of combined on three different rods but anyways this 3 printer is not as popular as the Artesian Prusa style 3 printers so it's fewer manufacturers of these on the market these 3 printers are supposed to be faster printing than the regular box clip 3 printers they're just more complex in building and writing the code for them I suppose which is why it's as popular so now we're going to jump to a screen grab of the top 5 on the market and then maybe I'll explain some more of the Delta 3 printers so after doing some Google searches and Amazon searches for the best 3 Delta 3 printers I came across this article by Fargo 3 printer repair I think uh, detailing more of what a Delta 3 printer is so on the top you can see a Cartesian 3 printer the Rosebot is a box shaped like mentioned earlier and the MK3 3 printers do fall in this category these printers use the X, Y, and Z coordinates to plot points on the printer and some of the pros of this printer type is its popularity so if it's more popular it has more support and maintenance type stuff for users that use it and they tend to have a better surface finish than the Delta printers there are no specific cons of using this type of printer. The Delta printers on the other hand consist of three arms on rows that move up and down independently to plot the print. Some of the pros for this is that it has a circular print bed which gives it a more efficient use of print volume and Delta printers have better speed times and can print tall objects than most if most Cartesian 3D printers can however with the speed it limits the print quality finish on printers on the prints with speed most time it most of the time it's speed over quality and almost all of the Delta printers are Bowden style extruders meaning that the extruder motor sits off to the side instead of on the print handle like the MK3 printers do so here is the first 3 printer, it's the Monoprice Mini Delta this is one of the more popular ones that I found in researching I would probably make this the number one budget 3 printer I mean though it does have some build flaws like the power button button for example and the one heatsink 
and print fan combined. So this is the Monoprice Strike Mini Monoprice Mini Delta 3 printer. It's one of the top five prints on our list. This one falls into the budget category more than the print quality or ease of use build. It's decent print quality. There's some benches that we've worked on. One issue I'm having with this one is the pitting and dent type things on the prints. Try throwing the speeds down, even though these prints are supposed to be faster than these type of printers. But without any luck. And that, some of the things I noticed on this one is it is a single fan printer, similar to the other style printers like the Circ Mini V2, or if you want a Split the two fan, split the fan into two. You go modify it, meaning that this one fan blows air on the heat sink, and it uses it for the part fan. So that really limits the material to PLA. It does have a bed reverend system, which is a plus. It does have a heat bed. It's not very powerful, but it's still heat bed. The most I've gotten this one up to is 55-60 range. See the touch uh, display screen with the buttons. No spoo holder. Most of these Delta style printers have some more of a spoo holder on the top, but this one has a handle instead. Extreme motor. There is no power button, which is kind of strange. I suppose it wouldn't be too hard to cut a slot out and put a rocker, rocker pin or button right here, but not really sure why that is. Also, the fans on this printer is really loud. It's probably one of the loudest I've heard so far. Moving to the second 3 printer on the list is the He3D K200 Delta 3 printer. I've seen two options for this particular 3 printer. One with one extruder and another second extruder motor with a two print head heat sink type nozzle where you can print multi-color pieces. This one still falls into the budget category somewhat. It's not the cheapest like the Monoprice Select Mini Delta is, but it's still not very expensive either. There's some of the technical specs for it. And you can see some of the reviews it has. It's not the greatest reviews but again it's only seven reviews so go take it with a grain of salt. But it's probably a decent printer for the price and if you need to upgrade it you can spend a little bit of money to get better parts for it. Now moving to the third printer is the FL Sun Delta. I've seen some good reviews of this one and they seem to be good at making Delta style printers. I haven't really seen any Cartesian style from them yet. But you can see some of the features in the pictures. It has a 32-bit motherboard, a Titan extruder, a heated platform with auto revering. 
see the reverend sensor is an add-on and you can see the knives are right above it so you can add the piece to it to calibrate it and again it has a 32 bit motherboard of 24 volt power supply and here's the hotbed and their custom built Titan extruder similar to a Bontec The next printer on the list is Wasp 3 printers. They make Delta printers as well, but these are not very budget home hobbyist type printers. As you can tell by the price point, these are more for industrial, small business if type consumers. It's probably a good quality printer, but for this price point, it's not very effective for hobbyists. So we'll go to the next one, which is the Silhouette Alta 3 printer. I've seen a few of these going around on Instagram and on YouTube. This looks like a decent quality printer. It's not the road budget one, so it's probably had some decent quality parts on it. And it's something interesting is that it comes with 25 Bonds 3D designs. So that's kind of interesting. So it does have another three printer by the same company for $150 more for $50 more and that one's like a modular print head and here's some of the questions and answers on Amazon and some of the reviews still not the greatest reviews on this one either but it does, doesn't have many reviews so it could still be a decent printer and there's one of the cookie cutter ones comments which if you see this on Instagram it's one of the accounts that uses this type of printer and just do a kickstarter search for Delta 3 printers make sure we didn't miss anything it looks like most of these campaigns are from like 2015 and 2017 era. So nothing really recent yet. Anyway, that's going to wrap up the video for this week. If you like this video, please make sure to click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.